Hi friend, it is the Monday night version of my daily video called Fireside Chat. This I've been calling it for a long time on Monday nights when the premiere runs and you can come and do the live chat portion. So more people get to visit. We get, oh, I don't know, over a thousand people maybe here. <laughs> That's really nice, right? So the daily video, we have our topic of the day. I've got some, I've got the calendar. Uh, we are working on another row for the layer cake and some other good stuff. So, all right. Monday is a parade of color in September. So every Monday was to share a color quilt. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna just, let's just stump the band. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stump the band, which I know won't, but let's see how many of you have a gray quilt, a quilt with a lot of gray in it. Uh, so I am really excited to see what you what you show. I mean, it might have gray and a pop of pink, you know, or a pop of lime green. That would be super cool. But if you have a quilt that's more gray than not, share it over at the Facebook group. Or if you are not on Facebook, you need to be there. I can send you a whole reasons why. <laughs> One of them is to be in the parade. <laughs> um, but you can just tell me about the quilt in the uh, comments below if you're not able to share it over there. Okay, so that's your topic, uh, but we, I want to go over the calendar for October and what we're going to do in October. Uh, so I think uh, it's, you know, definitely going to be that fall month. We'll definitely have, we'll have started the cozy things, uh, which this is perfect for fall, right? Perfect topic. Uh, but the October calendar Oops, I'm trying to get it off the table here. My fingers don't always work so good. So here we go. Here's the October calendar. The link is below uh, the video where you can go download it. Look at the owl. Well, here she is. Look what I found. I found the owl and a cute ghost. Yes. I debated putting a spider on the spider web and I decided not to. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I had a cute spider. We found a really cute one, but I'm like, eh, that's not. We'll do the ghost, the cute ghost, and the cute owl. So this has, the, the calendar has all of the sew-alongs. It has the days when I don't do a video, which are Sundays. Uh, and uh, it has, you know, all the topics so that you get a hint. And we're going to have the organizing again because really that's a topic you know each time uh, you know being assigned something to organize is a fabulous way to sort of keep on top of our things or if you're in the process of slowly sort of redoing things or reorganizing having that show up you know a couple times several times during the month is a really great way to say okay this day I'm going to work on that now I decided that for sort of um, for those of you who like to do a scrap buster uh, along with the month you know we've been, I've done several of them now uh, the month that I broke my wrist we were actually doing free motion quilting which uh, I got to the 20th of the month <laughs> so I got that far we didn't get any more than that but I'm not ready to pick that up and do that again we'll do that again in uh, next year when I can uh, get have more strength because it's gonna take quite a few months till that happens uh, so I have um, a pattern that's out for uh, my new fabric line it's a free pattern for the um, Morrison Park fabric and we're going to talk a lot about the Morrison Park fabric here in a bit but let me just show you the pattern it is called the garden path there's a garden path which is a free pattern to to make up with my fabric or as a scrap buster so I thought this would be perfect because it has blocks and they're squares and rectangles and so that would be a great way to make those and then eventually here's like the back so see the layout so you make blocks and then you sew them into rows and I think I haven't counted up how many there are but I think that that would be a fabulous I will do mine in Morrison Park because I have actually yet to make that actual quilt the free quilt it's just a digital uh, image on the cover here or in the pattern so this is this is what we'll sew along I also am going to try to do some bindings because I have those, you know, 14, which will be even more when I send, get the other quilts back. Uh, so I will also work on binding. Um, so that is the fun thing. 
Now this month we've been doing spools and so it is the 28th. So that means I have the two that I didn't show you before. And then I will be adding today's. I can't believe we're almost done. It's gonna be so cute. This is the one I have for today. Now this was a little, a little line that had French, sort of French scenery, French inspired ladies. Look at them. They've got that chevron like the Barbie, right? Only this time she's got a coat on. I actually just saw that there's a storm, there's a Barbie with a stormtrooper outfit. If you're a big stormtrooper fan, this was from a Disney site. I saw it. They they had um, Barbie outfits, so I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> it was much less scary outfit on the Barbie doll than the stormtrooper outfits that you see at, at Disney. They're like. I don't know. I guess you have to really be into it, but eee, they're, you know, all the white with the white helmet and everything. So, I mean, they're neat outfits, you know, but I'm, I guess I need to know more about the story. Anyways, I'm rambling. Okay. <laughs> We're going to talk. Sorry. I just like ramble. Let's do Morrison Park first, and then I will talk about some holiday stuff. So we'll do holidays, holidays. You know, October through the end of the year is holidays. But first, let's do Morrison Park. Let me see, I have way too much stuff going on here. Oh, it's easier to just keep it all on this side to move over where I have more room. But, you know, do I move over? No. Um, okay, so here's first, let's do the Morrison Park. And I just let me get that light so it's not blaring there. So these are the fabrics from my Morrison Park. Uh, I've got, see, I've got some, got them in the reds. Now Morrison Park is a fictional park, but there's actually one park I found in the U.S. Maybe you all know others, but there's one in the same town that the Virginia Quilt Museum is in. There's an actual park there called Morrison Park. And I build my fabric lines for Benetex. I'm building them around names that would be things you would find in your wonderful little hometown. So first one was Bonnie Lane. So of course everybody has a street in their hometown. There's the pinks. Uh, so Morrison Park is the park for the hometown. And as we go along these next two weeks with the tour, I'll tell you a little bit about the different, I sort of name the prints and I'll tell you those. So there's the green in the line with a pop of gold. It's kind of like a mustardy yellow or gold. My dis designer I work with, she says, it looks orange. I said, no, no, it's got to be yellow. So, <laughs> and then here's all the blues, blue, blue, everything blue. So today kicks off. This looks like a magical garden, right? Because Morrison Park would have beautiful gardens. Uh, so that is, those are all the fabrics. And starting today, where is my the clicker? Starting today, I have uh, a dozen friends, <laughs> what is it, 14 people, on a tour, one a day, and today is Cheryl Bricky of Meadow Mist, and each of them has taken my, my uh, Morrison Park fabric and made it up in one of their patterns. Um, <clears throat> so you'll get to see the fabric made up in this wonderful array of styles because uh, everybody has a different style each of the de these designers uh, some will be bigger projects some will be smaller projects and it is just thrilling to see how other people take the fabric and envision it and use it so it will be one person a day and each person will have um <clears throat> Excuse me. Each person will have a giveaway. It's the same. It's they every. They're, so I'm giving away like 14 prizes. 13 of them are all the same uh, when you go to visit my friends, and then the 14th will be at my website, and it'll be a little bit bigger prize. But I have either a layer cake of Morrison Park with a uh, for for people in the U.S. So we can ship U.S. a layer cake plus one of the Benner Texas newsletter clubs that has a charm pack and a newsletter and a pattern tells you what's new. You get to see what that is. Or if you're outside the U.S., you get uh, one of my uh, boxes of Orifil thread with the neutral colors. So, and that will be uh, with Orifil be sending that to you because they ship all over the world. So you have an opportunity to enter uh, 
for 14 different days. So you want to be sure you go every single day to the designer. And they should all, hopefully they have it, they'll all list who the other people are. So if you missed one, you can get the list on that day and go back. And I will also be sharing it always here on the video and at my Facebook group. And if I have a blog post that day, it'll be in the blog post and at Instagram. So anyways, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> That's a lot of places, huh? But that's where everybody is. And you're, you're not all, if you'd all just stay in one place and we could just do everything in one spot, but it, life doesn't work like that. <laughs> nope, nope, some of you won't be here, some of you won't be there. So so we share, we share wherever we can. So Cheryl is a, a wonderful designer. She is just been a friend of mine for a long time. We worked together on a business project for about three years together. She is just on top of the world on, you know, she just takes care of everything very well. So it was a joy to be able to uh, ask her to do this. And she said, yes, <laughs> it was so, it's a little scary. You know, when you ask your friends, would you do something like this? Because they have to take their time and, and it takes a little while to make a quilt. Uh, and you'll see some of them, they didn't just make little things a lot of them have made quite a nice big lap quilt so you can see their their pattern in my fabrics uh, so i hope that you'll enjoy that i hope you'll buy some of the patterns as you go along on the tour everybody will have <clears throat> something a little bit different and so i'm sure you're going to meet some people you've never met before and that'll be awesome you'll find new people to follow it's gonna it, you're you're gonna have so much fun yeah Okay, that is Morrison Park. Now today is also our day to um, work on our layer cake. And we're going to, I think this is, okay, like, you know, I tape this. I don't tape this on Monday. I tape it on Sunday. And so I forgot, but I think we are doing the fifth row. And we're just doing one row this week. That way, if you are behind, you can catch up. So it's like, you know, you didn't do the other four rows you can work on them uh, or if you want to get ahead you can of course keep sewing uh, some of our friends have really been in the facebook group i have seen some gorgeous this is called the birthday cake in the perfect 10 book that's the there's however many patterns are in that book this one is called the birthday cake layout and the in the blocks but uh, there are people making them where they're shifting the layout a little bit. They're not putting sashing. Some of the people are experimenting without the sashing, which eliminates the little uh, shoe fly block, or I'm sorry, the, yeah, the little shoe fly block in the middle. So when you do four blocks together, you get this little design that comes in the center. Let me, let me roll you up there. So anywhere you can see, go to the top row is easiest so you can visualize it. But see those tiny little, there, my finger, that's a shoe fly. There, that's a shoe fly. And that's where the four blocks intersect. One, two, three, four, intersect. Now I have four extra blocks and I measured, I have this sort of giant pillow that is on my couch. And I think I can do the four blocks. I think I can do it with the sashing, although I might have to do it just a tiny bit smaller so that it um, will fit this big pillow. And then a little border around it and I can make uh, one of those for a pillow, uh, you know, one four block unit as a pillow. So I'm, I'm excited about that. So that's really fun. Now my friend Melanie sewed this one for me. So then uh, Cindy and Dennis quilted it with the spider webs and uh, there's their spiders on that one, but they're cute spiders, so. <laughs> and bats, there's cute bats on there too. We have bats that fly around here. Do you have bats? Yes, Greg's named them Betty and Bob. So, of course, Bob the Bat. Uh, they fly around. We sit out in the evening. You can see them. That is life. Not, not in the country. I am not in the country. So there are bats everywhere. Now we're going to do some holiday talk because we can. Let me just throw that over there. So I am excited that this panel is back. So we're going to talk sort of fall Thanksgiving because you know I love this panel so much and I really want to quilt it. Well, I'm thinking maybe I should send this to Cindy to quilt this too. Um, here's the panel. Let me stand up. But it's back in stock. So I'll show you two other things that came back in stock from the other day. So this is Give Thanks. Isn't that gorgeous? This is, and look at the owl. See the owl? 
Yeah, and acorns. I love the acorns. So this is Sandy Gervais' fam fabric line, and this is the panel from it. It's called Give Thanks. And I actually am doing a project you're going to see later in uh, October with the Fat Quarter Shop using the fabric, the layer cake from this. And I was working on that the other day, and uh, it's just a couple of blocks I'm doing from the pattern to show you, but it is so cute. It's a really cute fabric. Uh, so give thanks, but there was a pattern that Sandy did. So she did this pattern to showcase, to show off the um, panel. You know, I'm thinking I would like to do this pattern, pattern just with the triangles. I don't, I don't want to piece the leaves. Um, but if you wanted to piece leaves, it makes it a really nice size. It is, whoops, where does she say? 64 by 72. So that's a great big lap size if you want to put in, you know, put on the extra um, leaves. And then this other quilt that I showed you uh, pattern was called Casual Friday. This just cracks me up. I totally love it. It's back in stock. Uh, and you can do, she says, all three of these projects from a layer cake. So one layer cake plus the extra back, you know, background fabric. We'll do all three of these, which are two different, like a runner, a little wall hanging. And this is, uh, she is so darling. Yes, <laughs> casual Friday. <laughs> I have to make, I have to make one. I have to make one of them, right? It's like Norm. Like I'll have Norm and I'll have the little witch. Yeah, <laughs> but she's a cute witch, like the cute spiders, right? <laughs> Now, also coming up, see, we're back, we've got to stay on the holidays here. Also coming up in uh, October, and I don't remember what day, later in October, is we're going to sew the charm pack, the charm pack tree. So here's the charming Christmas is called, the charm pack tree, and I have that link set up down below. It's also over it. I love to make quilts. So my friend is going to sew this one up for me, my friend Sue, because it just... I have a lot of things going on now and I'm getting to the point where it's like I, I don't I can't sew that much my hands will ache so I have to can only do so much every day and so she she said oh what do you need to sew I'll sew something so she just picked this up and it comes in two sizes so you can do it with a charm pack which is five inch square so you don't have to you can use five inch squares from the fabric you own your Christmas fabric or winter fabric you know but there's also a mini charm which is uh, a version which is two and a half inch squares. So it's the same tree, but that one's only 26 inch quilt, and the bigger one is like a 59 inch square quilt. And you could elongate it, make more on either side, and put a wider border on top and bottom if you want that to be a longer quilt. Now I am doing, well, actually Sue is going to sew mine from the, uh, from this holly berry. Let me get this. Just pull that out. Yeah, so to so the holly berry. Now this is a Jolly Bar version, which is like two, it's half of a layer cake, two charm packs. But she, I sent her home with, sent her with the charm packs. So I'm getting mine made with that. Um, but there's some other cute Christmas fabrics out there. There are just darling. I don't know if you have started like looking at the Christmas fabric. You know, you do the Christmas in July stuff and this year I kind of missed that. Um, because I was sort of out of it most of July. <laughs> so I was here, but I wasn't looking at anything too new. Uh, but uh, I want to show you a couple of these charm packs I had gotten in, which would make cute, cute Christmas trees. One is the flurry. The flurry line is got these little bears. See the little bears like with, and, and there's uh, like Christmas balls and this cool plaid and it's got aqua. There's another little bear, two different types of bears, and a navy aqua. I don't know. I just think it just tickles me. These bears tickle me. Uh, then there's the Santa Claus line, which, whoops, sorry. The Santa Claus line is very vintage feeling. I mean, he has, and there's more Christmas balls, a beautiful poinsettia. There's some gold on these. I don't know if you can see this. And the, I love the stripe. That's like peppermint stripe, right? And there's Mrs. Claus on there with uh, Santa. The pink. So there is, there's some aqua. Oh, there's dance, the dancing Santas. The whole uh, dancing along. And then there's a little bit more traditional one called Homegrown. Uh, what's that called? Homegrown Holidays. 
Sorry, I keep shoving it up there. I have to pull everything way back here because of the camera angle. I can't pull it there. Oh, I've got to go down a little bit more. Uh, so it's got the red truck, uh, Cardinals, plaid. How cool is that? Look at this gorgeous. It's a little bit more realistic, Holly. Look at the snowflake. This is a really pretty line. It has some really beautiful prints. This is my, my friend Deb Strain. It has a little text print that says, you know, the homegrown holidays, Christmas on the farm. So that is another darling one. It would be really cute in the charming, the charming Christmas tree. So you can see that's pretty easy. And we'll, I think we're going to do it in like three weeks. And I think it's, I think I had it set up for over th a three week time period to do that one. And it is so cute and easy. You know, you probably can just go ahead and quilt it up in that amount of time. You know, the amount of time done, you could probably just get the whole thing done rather than just piecing the top. But it depends on what your schedule is. Of course, always depends on schedule, right? <laughs> I want to say thank you to a couple of friends that sent me things. This super cute card came from Anne. Here, here we go. Anne, isn't that pretty? Look at that quilting on there. So this card came from Anne and her daughter April made me these super cute coasters. Look at that. Aren't they cute? Aww. Thank you, Anne and April. And then I got a card, a really pretty, pretty card. This is from Deanna. Thank you, Deanna. I love, I love getting these. You have all been so amazing and supportive. And you're probably really bored of hearing about my hands. I, I'm starting to get bored of them too. But <laughs> I did a... I did a little, um, just a little update today on the website with all the stuff um, because I think from probably from here out, it's just sort of a long haul until they uh, settle down and get the strength back and get the movement back. So it's really not going to be where I have, you know, like this huge step forward and like all of a sudden everything works well. Uh, it doesn't ache anymore. It doesn't hurt. And, and I don't think that'll happen. I think it's going to be just from here on out, you know, for another, uh, you know, into next year, uh, that it'll just be a very slow process. So I probably won't do a whole lot of other updates um, just because it's really not going to be a whole lot to see. Um, I think I will celebrate when the uh, physical therapist, the occupational therapist, go ahead and releases me on my own, you know, at which point I won't be 100%. I will just be at a point where I just have to do the same things over and over for strength building and flexibility. So uh, that'll probably be a couple more weeks till I have uh, get that. And when I get that, I'll do, uh, I will do, I will cheer. <laughs> I think I'll wear my t-shirt too, right? The one that I got sent with uh, the, the broken wrist t-shirt. I think I'll wear it that day that I get uh, get released from, from the uh, therapy sessions, <laughs> the occupational therapy. All right, did I have anything else? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, one thing is Q&A, one Q&A. There's a lot of things about how to prioritize because I do um, a lot of different projects because I personally like to work on a lot of projects at once. And also there, we are a very large community. You are the amazing community, but you have different interests. And so I like to run uh, several different things at once so that it appeals to you know multi different people. I don't expect you to do all of them. Um, like some of you are doing the th three inch blocks for the <clears throat> the one sew along, which are super tiny, like because you want that challenge, you want to try it. Uh, and I even noticed like some, one of our friends said they did the three inch block and then they scrapped that idea and went to the nine inch block. <laughs> That's on the socialites. That I just thought that cracked me up because it sounds like something I would do. <laughs> it's like I, I really wanted to try the three inch, but I know right now that's not in my plan. So I'm on the nine inch blocks, but okay, back to, so I lost my, I lost, I lost where I was going. So when you have all these things going on, uh, and you also have your regular life that you're running, 
What you need to do, this is what I do, is I have to figure out what's essential. That's like an, a, an interesting word to use. What is essential? You know, you have certain things you have to get done on a daily basis, but are they essential to be done that day or can they be done by next Wednesday? You know, like you, ha and this is, you know, scheduling, but if you want to use a word other than scheduling, just look at what's essential and be sure that the essential things are always first so that when you get like you all of a sudden you feel like oh my gosh there's just too much going on make a list make a list and then move the essential things first and you should have like you know two or three you shouldn't have 20 you shouldn't have 10 you should only have a couple that have to be have to be done you know uh, like you have to go to a board meeting you know like you've got a zoom meeting coming up you know you you can't miss that that's essential um do you have to do laundry today? Unless you have no underwear left, you might be able to push that till tomorrow. Uh, or assign it to another family member. You don't always have to be the one to do the laundry. So anyways, look at things. When you start to feel like there's too much on your plate, look, break it down and look at what's as essential. Um, I think in October, another thing we'll have, because when we start the cozy things, there's a whole lot of stuff around that that I want to just, you know, life things. I like talking about life things. So if you're kind of interested in that, let me know. We'll see what I come up with. Okay, my friend, the fireside chat has been amazing fun. I'm so thrilled that you're here. All these things I talked about are linked below. Uh, and while you're here, if you would subscribe and then hit the bell, hit the like, do all those wonderful things to let uh, YouTube know that you are watching my videos. Thank you. <laughs> so I love you. I love you so much. Mwah. See you online.